Hey, you guys, this week we had a thief in the farm shop. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to Heartway Farms. Thank you for joining us. We're glad that you're with us today. Uh, just a quick reminder to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there, please. And don't forget that we do have an online farm shop that you can go ahead and peruse our products and make a purchase from there and help support Heartway Farms in that way. Yeah, you guys, the girls are putting just such wonderful stuff up there all the time, whether it's homemade candles or the, you know, raw honey, elderberry. Hand crocheted, uh, knitted, little Not knitted. Washcloths. Hand crocheted, 100% cotton washcloths. <laughs> just all sorts of good stuff, you guys. We're trying to grow this for the girls and for their business. And uh, yeah, just go check it out. So we are glad that you're here today. And we contemplated not doing this video today. But the truth is, it is the truth. And we want to share the good, the bad, the ugly with you guys and just the real stuff when it happens. For sure. Um, not just all the good, not just all the, you know, the high points, um, but to share the challenges and the struggles too because it's not reality if we don't talk about the challenges that come with um, homesteading, you're owning your own business, allowing others from the community to the come property. into yep. the property and to purchase your items. All of these things have, you know, 95% wonderful things mm -hmm. and then 5% challenges and struggles. So and it's you, really been a great, we've, we've really had um, a, a great experience with yes. this. We've had, That's what I'm saying. 95% yeah. good, 5% bad. But yeah. why don't you talk about the experience that came up this week? Sure. So we had an individual enter into the farm shop. Um, was in there for quite some time, and our Miss Observant Marie, <laughs> who's ever watching over the property, she's like, something doesn't seem right out there. And so after some investigation um, and recordings that we had captured on our little tiny ring device that sits out there, um, we had found that there was a thief in the farm shop. So let's pause talking for a minute, and we'll show you guys, uh, just because it's fun to watch these clips, right? <laughs> so you guys want to see it. So this is what happened in the farm shop. All right, how much is your honey? Twelve dollars. Okay, and what else you could you see? Try it. Why not? Okay, so it's pretty blatant and obvious what happened. You know, some people, we always, always, always give the benefit of the doubt if there is yeah. doubt. Yeah. But in this case, there was no doubt. And I, I even, you guys don't get to see this part, but I even went out and talked face to face with this woman and I could see immediately because she... Um, wasn't acting normal. She was not yeah. acting normal. Yeah. She was nervous. You could tell that she was, and she lingered, which really was very, uh, caught me off guard. But I went out there immediately and I, immediately, and I knew that money was missing. Right. So, so and a real quick backstory During this time, though, though yeah. during this time while I was out talking to, to her, I didn't fully, I could not see, we have a ring um, device. Right. Current, not, this was, no high tech security. No high tech security. Now a little bit more, we'll get to yeah, that. Yeah. But, um, we have a ring device that, uh, captures video in the farm shop. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's a way that if people need to get a hold of us, they can too, but it, it captures video. Well, obviously this, this young lady did not know that or was unaware. 
or whatever was going was, on with she her. Was, she was blinded she by was the money. Blinded <laughs> by the money. I don't know. It's, it wasn't that much money. It was yeah. like seventy bucks. But yeah. um, anyway, it doesn't matter. But uh, she. She obviously didn't know what was going on. And at this time, I'm out talking to her, and Josh and the girls are quickly running through the ring footage. Cause, and anyway, they, she left before we could actually have the evidence on camera because they were out there a very long time. Right. Anyway, so she there was obviously something not right. She was right. acting very strange and very guilty and all of these things. So it was just one of those things that had I not even seen the video, I would have known that right. something was up because it, of her body language. I've got kids. Yeah. You guys know when a kid is lying, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, or it probably shook lying. her up a little bit when her, when her own child kind of called her out. <laughs> yeah, you guys hey, wait a saw it on here. the video. Yeah. Um, we're showing you right. all of this, but really we're just, we want to talk about kind of the heart behind why we do what we do mm -hmm. and uh, just how we're raising our kids and in, in this world right. and all of that. Do you want to start that? Yeah, I'll start off with the to? backstory. So we started off, for, for those who don't know, um, when we first got on, on the farm site here about five years ago, we started off with a cooler at mm -hmm. the front of the property and it was very accessible. Um, it, it held a few like, dozen eggs in there yeah. right at the front of we the property. We probably have a picture we could throw in here. I mean, it, we would throw a couple yeah. uh, dozen eggs. We would have like honey. some honey out there and like some of the girl stuff, but it, like right. a lip balm or whatever, but we couldn't fit very much. And at that time, my mom was the one who made the soap and the lip balm. And, you know, she trained up Julianne. If you guys have been watching our videos, you know that right. that transition took place, which is wonderful. And um, so Julian learned how to make all of that. So we would carry those few things in the farm shop. In the farm pool barn. Yeah, I'm or sorry. In, in, the, in the farm shop. Cooler. In the farm cooler. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right at the top of the driveway. Very accessible. People actually really, really liked that. Yeah. But what were some of the challenges of the cooler? Let's get into that real quick. Well, it be, it wasn't it was not a very good boat because it held more water than it than that it repelled. Thing, <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess maybe I thought coolers functioned differently. A little differently. more watertight than that, yeah. I thought they were watertight, kind of, yeah. but they are absolutely not. So anyway, if any of you are considering this, I just want to tell you that this is one of the challenges. Coolers get wet. Coolers, every time it rains, would hold water. Yeah. Every single time. Right. I mean, so we would we would have loss. I mean, not that much because soggy we would elevate though, some, of, yeah. some of it, but... Yeah, we would have soggy cartons. We put soap inside of containers. Yeah, though, so they we would had float. to. It was a constant. <laughs> if there was a bad wind, even though we had kind of tied off and anchored down the cooler, it would still right. break off in a heavy wind. Anyway. Yeah. So, so we, we had the cooler, and mm -hmm. we had we had the honor system up there, and we've yes. always done the honor system. And truth truth be told, is it's always been a rewarding thing because yeah. we've had people who who tip us randomly. We've had gifts left in there randomly. Yeah. Um, around Christmas time a couple times yeah. we've had people drop off very generous donations um, people are wonderful they are and, and I would not yeah. and so many people are generous and kind and I mean I'll even get like regulars or whatever that maybe Candies leave, or notes yeah <laughs> leave candy for the kids um, and just the sweetest things we get to know their family and their stories and all right. of these things and back at back when we had the cooler at the top of the driveway, we had one car that would ste that was consistently stealing from us. And I knew the car. I knew the gentleman who drove the car. Not, I didn't know them personally. I could right. recognize them. They would take eggs from us, right. and would leave like they would take all the eggs and then leave, leave like a dollar, or whatever. Okay. Right. So it at first it really bothered me. And then I, I laid it down to the Lord because I'm like, I just can't lose sleep over this. Like, it's just some eggs, okay? Right. And I thought to myself, okay, maybe they need them. Maybe they can't afford to buy eggs. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to let the Lord sort it out, and right. I'm just going to keep doing what we're doing. And eventually, they stopped coming. Right. So I didn't hunt them down. I didn't <clears> post <throat> their picture on, like, no, you know. No. But during that time, we... Wanted we, or whatever. Yeah, and during that time, eggs. though, we started to instruct the children, even, um, towards the principle of being generous givers as well. Yeah. And that even, even someone who's in a time of need or a time of want, they might not feel... Um, released or whatever the, the word is to, to, to seek help. Yeah. Um, but we've always said that if they needed, if someone needs a product to feed their family, um, 
in this case, it was a little different because it was a candle that you really don't feed yeah. your family with. The, but, I don't know if you, yeah. I can't remember if you can see yeah. that in the video candle or not, but she took honey. a hand poured yeah. candle that Marie had made, you right. know, as, and, and I think that's what, and honey. Okay. Let's, let's keep it real. If you, if you're really in trouble, you can buy pretty cheap honey. That's not raw and all that. So anyway, we didn't feel like it was the same scenario. It was different in because this in case. this case, the, the hand, and she took all the money, the hand was put into the, the honey pot. Yeah. She, and, she paid out and, of the money. She and, paid for her items out of the money from the jar and then and took, pretend, the money. took the rest yeah. of it, pocketed the rest of it. And, and just even I'm not going to get into the conversation that she and I had. I did not call her out, but the things that she's, she's been here before, I can tell, and she wants chicken. And I was like, as I was having this conversation and she, I could tell that this was something that was a character flaw, not right. a, my kids are hungry and I can't feed them type of thing. I, right. You know, because obviously we charge for what we do. It's expensive yeah. um, to raise food yourself and you can find much cheaper options sure. other places. Yeah. So anyway, I didn't, between these two incidents that I know of, I'm sure that's happened little bits here and there, but we haven't had this happen. Right. This has not been something that is consistent. We'll have people come out from Chicago and they are shocked that we, do that that. we yeah. even can do the honor system. And I tell them, you know, occasionally stuff comes up, but most of the time people are good. People are trustworthy. Right. I even have some customers and they're, they're so sweet that just like refuse to go into the shop. They want yeah. us to do it because they don't want, they don't, they don't like that we do the honor system. Yeah. They just want to be held upright and accountable and not. Yeah. They don't want to feel dishonest. And not deal with that. And, um, and you know, obviously our kids know that, know that this happened. Right. Um, they know that it happened before mm -hmm. and we just try to, uh, this goes into raising raising our kids and what we're doing. We right. feel like because the majority of people are trustworthy and we like having them on the property, we walk this line with mm -hmm. our kids and we teach them first and foremost, though, that we love people, we respect people, we honor people, mm -hmm. but we use wisdom. Right. And we don't just... You, trust, can't, you don't trust you everybody. You can't throw a trust to the wind either. You can't exactly. throw a trust to the wind because there are very <clears throat> sick dark people out there in right. the world and that's right. a shame but it, it is but I'm not going to live my life under a rock right. or in a hole scared and never mingle out in in the community right. with that fear we right. use wisdom with that and I'm not going to send my little kids out there to hang out with these dark people right. but I'm not going to hide right. I'm not going to live my life you know we are not going to live our lives afraid and scared and doubting every person's character just for fear of i don't know the, the negative of the negative yeah. or yeah. even people saying things you know we have people from every different religion i mean yes. that you can imagine every culture yeah. all these we've talked about this people from all over the world who are now in the u.s yes we've had all these different cultures and, and they've things. been great experiences great experiences yeah. and opportunities for the kids to learn and to see other people mm -hmm. and if nothing else i mean besides just giving opening their eyes to stuff it has reinforced in our children's lives yeah. our values right our thoughts and our things that we have, I mean, it, it's done exactly what we hoped that it would. Right. And at the most, just open their eyes to other people and uh, other people's struggles, of other people's positives and negatives and all when the I things. What I think to branch out a little bit too is, you know, we, we say it right on, the, on our slogan stuff is that Heartway Farms is about family, community, and hope. And this is a way that we can bring community onto our property. And yeah. it's a way that... Truly, in times of need, people, we, we are perfectly at peace with if someone needed to come for something and they needed to take something. Yeah, we've done this before, Yeah, it's too. just the, it was a character flaw in this specific yeah. case. And, there's and that's some the people, big thing. Yeah. And there's some people that will steal when they don't need it. Right. You know, and, right. and we try to enforce in the kids. It's like, okay, first of all, we've all made mistakes. Right. But you choose to walk a, you know, certain paths. Right. And these people that choose consistently, and I don't know this woman, so I don't know if this is her case, but right. it's people who choose those rough paths are going to have a rough life. Yes. And we teach that to the kids. That's why we teach them uh, how to be honest in the little things, right. you know, be upright in the little things so that when it comes to the big things later, you know, you're going to have big consequences right. later when you're, you know, I'm not, even if this woman 
when this woman comes back. Right. Um, I'm going to talk to her, or Josh is going to talk to her. I'm not going to turn her in. Right. Um, we have higher security now, <laughs> and this experience has kind of you know reminded us. Okay, we've been we've been dragging our heels on getting these cameras up. <laughs> well, and we've been a little we've been a little lax, even like you know. We, we don't have a huge inventory system and we don't have, no. you know, it's, we're, we're Marie very, does low, an we're very job. low tech. It's we're a farm shop. We're very low tech. Yeah. We're <laughs> um, busy guys, yeah. you know, but, um, but I, I would talk to her and I would tell her, you know, that we know what happened and that we'd appreciate if she didn't do that and didn't shop here anymore right? or steal and here if there, And if there's a true, a true need, let us know and we'll, yeah. we'll help. Um, you know, we had the generosity. It was, we were able to do it, was it two or three I years was, ago now? I think it was two years we ago. Were do heart, we were able to do with our customers. Um, we reached out to our local community even. And we, Heartway we, Gives Back, Heartway I Gives think. Back around yeah, Thanksgiving. That's what we called it. And we were able to, once again, our desire is to help impact the community, those who we know. And we had identified a couple of our regular customers that had needs that had some needs and we were able to um, raise some funds and redistribute those things so like i said the the focus of this is that we we truly want to praise the generosity of many over the, we have like the best yeah. <laughs> regular customers and if yeah. any of you guys are watching and i'm gonna say i'm going to include those of you who are faithful to uh, purchase items through the Online. website yeah. because that money uh, goes towards these things. It goes towards expanding the farm. Um, the kids. It does not. Yeah. It goes to the kids. Yeah. They get paid for the things that they do. It's a way for them to do it and they continue to expand mm -hmm. their businesses. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't go for trips for Disney. It just no. doesn't. No. It goes towards farm expansion and the goal and the dreams here. Right. And uh we're always deciding what is the wise way mm -hmm. to reinvest these funds and to continue to grow and expand and make a bigger impact in our community than we are. We're only like this big in the community. We want to be this big in the community, right. you know? Yeah. So it's it's building on those dreams and visions. So for all of you who are faithful, even hitting that subscribe button um, blesses ways, our family. Yeah. These are small things and it, and it impacts our community. And so that's why we're doing this is to continue to grow the business, to continue to grow the footprint that we can, can make in our area and hopefully expand beyond that. That's why we finally did the website is yeah. so we can expand. And I just, it just blesses my heart. And I just, I'm going to say this, even though it doesn't really have to do with the video, but I talked to somebody yesterday who made a purchase from the website yep. and who watches us faithfully. Hi, Misty. I'm going to say hi to you on here. I'm, I'm going to call you out. And just the, the goodness of people, yeah. the good people that are a part of this family locally, who we see in person every day right. or, you know, a couple times a week or whatever, or the people that watch us faithfully who are so kind and so sweet. I just loved talking to you, Misty, the other day. Those people are why we do what we do. Our For children sure. and our family and mm -hmm. our community are why we do what we do. Believing that majority of people are good and right and wholesome mm -hmm. and, you know, want the best for their family and want the best for their community, that's why. Right. And when things come up like this, you really have to lay down your flesh and just be like, you know what, I'm not going to let this bother me. $70 is not that big of a deal. Right. You know, it's not. Yeah. It's not that big of a deal to turn your world upside down. But it was a great teaching point for the it children. Was. You know, and it, was. It, it really made us ponder um, some you, of these things that we focus on, yeah. some of these reasons why we do things. And yeah. and it, and it in a lot of ways, I think it just, it causes, we're not changing anything. I'm not, you know, we're not, we're staying the course with the honor system. Yeah. We're actually looking down the road at doing some things a little bit, even expanding it a little bit more differently. But yeah, I want to make it even more community. I don't want to give too much away. Yeah. So we'll just keep it. But I want more people here at the farm. I want our community to be able to walk in here and have some ownership here and say, hey, right. I want to get in here and help you guys. And I want to, I can't have a chicken coop at my place, but I want to come and help with the chickens here right. and walk home with it, you know, walk out of here with some eggs because I helped and I have some ownership in it. Right. We were trying to figure all those things out, but I mean, stay tuned, yeah. you know, for yeah. those things. But it doesn't, it's discouraging, but yeah. it doesn't discourage us as a right. whole, if that right. makes sense. It's like sad when you see people that are not doing the right thing, right. but it doesn't, break your spirit, you know, right. and you're not going to quit just because of one or two or people kind of like same thing in the YouTube world. 
Yeah, a couple of those nasty comments. A couple of those nasty comments. 90, yeah. I will even say 99% yeah, of we, you guys on YouTube are just so faithful to encourage us along the way. Absolutely. And we're new in this, yeah. you know, and we are hoping and planning on continuing and continuing to grow. Um, and it's it's a choice that you make when you're in this world, you, in the YouTube world, right? whether you are going to let those comments bother you or not. And we are... We are who we are right. here when that camera's running, mm -hmm. or we're who we are here when that camera's not running, or there's people here on, on site of the property. And if you don't like that, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no hard feelings, but see you later. You know, like, you don't need to hang out. And I'm not offended by that. Right. But um, it's just who we are. Right. And so hopefully, you, you know, if you come and see us, I know we have someone from Maine coming to see us in a couple weeks here. Yeah from the YouTube channel. I'll shout out to Ruth too. <laughs> I'm just putting your names on. I'm not saying your last name. Just putting people's names out here on the YouTube world. We're having someone who faithfully watches us coming through and visiting us. Yeah. And that's, we're excited. And yeah. we know, we have no issue doing that because we are just hoping to give you who we are as a family, what we stand for as a channel and as yes. a community, and just keeping, staying real to that, whatever that means. Uh, yeah. Anything, do you have anything else to add on that? No, that was a We're good gonna summary. We're going to keep on keeping on. Yep. And I just, again, I want to reinforce how much we appreciate all of you all. And because the encouragement is so great, we'll keep on doing what we're doing and, uh, and growing and expanding. And we just appreciate all of your support. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Is that all for today? <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to get busy. Back to work. Back to work. Right? All right. <laughs> all right. We'll talk to you all soon. Have a blessed day. Bye.